likes the channel that gets everything wrong so you don't have to. My name's Teddy and today I'll be showing you how to recover the quickest energy you can in Black Desert while also instantly recovering almost all of your energy back. So if energy recovery is an issue for you or you're just trying to play the Amity minigame, let's just jump into this and stop wasting all the time. When it comes to energy in Black Desert, we tend to go through a lot of energy depending on the life scaling activity, learning knowledge, talking to people, and even re-rolling for workers. But did you know we could recover at least 40 energy back every three minutes opposed to the one. We have new ways to recover energy and most of which doesn't require pearls to be spent to get back the most energy recovering. It's extremely easy with enough luck or silver. So those who can't spend real money or are choosing not to, don't worry, you're still not left out here. So the first thing we're going to need is going to be the Kama's Blessing. This will give us plus two energy recovery every three minutes. Getting one can be done several ways with the easiest just being bought off the pearl shop. But for those who don't want to spend the pearls, Nakama's Blessing can be pre-ordered off the central market and are given out during events. Using Nakama's Blessing isn't enough though. Having the secret book of the old moon allows the remote use of the turning gates villa buff, though it's not needed. This buff does provide plus one energy recovery. The villa buffs can be bought from any villa around the Valencia region and will require a villa invitation to use which will last seven days. Throwing on any two artifacts, it doesn't matter unless you're going for a certain artifact, we can look into the lightstone combination. Normally while gathering, I'd suggest using the Yawning Hedgehog lightstone combination for the plus one energy, but just solely focusing on the energy recovery, we have a cheaper option. This is going to be the Refreshing Dream lightstone combination, which has a nice plus two energy recovery while wearing. Making this is easier than the Yawning Hedgehog, only needing a Floral Lightstone Plane, Trap, and harvest with an iridescent lightstone. These lightstones can be either purified or can be bought off the central market. While this option isn't mobile, we still have the beds we can use. Normal beds like the Calpheon handcrafted bed, for example, can be crafted using the normal furniture factory. These recover plus one energy. Normal quality beds can also be bought from furniture dealers once their amity has been raised to 500 or above. These also provide a plus one energy recovery too. While pearl shop beds will give a plus two energy recovery. Lastly, the old Old Moon Furniture Workshops provide the same plus two energy recovery bonus without needing to spend in pearls. Using a bed will reduce the durability by one, and once all the durability is gone, you will have to get a new bed. Only normal beds can be bought off the central market while the pearl beds have to be bought, and the Old Moon beds can only be crafted. So check around the workshops and see which style you like the most. If sleeping in a bed isn't for you, or you just don't have a house, there's still options for you. Heading out to Dubin Croon here in the Dragon region, we have the hot springs. Just sitting in the water not only has relaxing scenery, but also gives a plus one energy recovery. You will have to remain in the water just like sleeping in a bed, but is a free way without needing to rent a house or buy a bed. The shy players out there like me, our bonfire tool can be crafted using five lumber, five rough stone, and five powder flame. This will provide plus one energy recovery. The tool tip does mention it will provide energy recovery to nearby allies, and I've been known to be wrong, so let me know down in the comments below how it works and while you're down there be sure to leave a like if you're enjoying all the life skill and content here on the channel but getting back into this we can't have an energy guide without mentioning the energy tonics and the energy potions these have different sizes with the large tonic and the extra large potion being the best recovering plus 50 energy for each and can be used at the same time not sharing the same cooldown but keep in mind you can only pop one size tonic or potion at the same time not an extra large energy potion and a large potion at the same time tonics can be obtained either by spending pearls, loyalty, and can be given out during events. Some can also be found during the Black Spirit Adventure too. Energy potions, however, have to be made by exchanging energy from an alt at Alliston here on the mainland in Velia, or by Chief Sang Yoon here in Dalbo Village on the Land of the Morning Light, just like Alliston. Other event items like the Energy Gourd Bottle that you can get in the Land of the Morning Light can also be used to restore instant energy, but are also given out during events. Now for those who enjoy the Land of the Morning Light, we have a must-have item when it comes to energy recovery. This is going to be the Miraculous Herbal Medicine. Taking a look at this thing, this has the best buff to use when needing back all of your energy, having a staggering instant 500 energy recovery. But also, for an hour, we have another huge plus 30 energy recovery. Now, the downside to this miracle drug is getting the strange and beautiful herb has to be done manually on the land of the morning light during night, meaning there is a four hour respawn time. We can also do dailies around the region for the sign coins that can be exchanged for the strange herb 
herbs too if finding enough is too hard. The other downside to these are the 22 hour cooldown. This limits the usage to once per day but if you have less than 500 energy this can be a huge time saver. Another great option is the millennial wild ginseng. This is harder to get with only being obtainable from playing the new artisan green thumb gathering mini game which if you still haven't unlocked that you can check out how to do that either clicking the link in the top corner or it'll be down in the description below. Finding one of these ginsengs will give a plus one energy recovery and don't worry if these things are too hard to find. These can be bought off the central market too if you're just not lucky enough. Other items like the GM's blessing will also increase energy recovery by one but these are rarely sent out for maintenance compensation so these aren't easily used all the time. While not being a permanent solution for always running out of your energy, this is a great way of maintaining some of it while you're gathering or just talking to those NPCs. And of course, life skills like gathering, the higher it is, the more chances you will save your energy so you can possibly save more energy than other players. I found getting workers re-rolled and gathering with Agris takes a lot longer and keeps me out here so I can make a lot more money in the long run. I wish the medicines cooldown wasn't so long and the wild ginseng didn't have to be obtained only through the minigame with no way to increase the drop chances but at least we have the options if we're lucky enough. Getting to that time again if you have any other topics that you want to see covered let me know down in the comments below and I will do my best to get started on that as quickly as possible. If you want to see more Black Desert content be sure to click the video there and I will see you in the next one. Keep gathering out there.